Good morning, everyone. Off to a milder start than yesterday. For many of you, it's nearly 10 degrees warmer than it was heading out yesterday. Numbers 7 degrees warmer in town. We have 11 degrees warmer this morning in Wapakoneta, Salina, and Minster, and Ottawa as well. So temperatures lower to mid-50s, partly cloudy skies, and a bit of a breeze out of the south this morning, 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're going to pick up that breeze as we go throughout the day. Today, we've got high pressure to the east of us and that clockwise flow around it, giving us that southerly and southwest wind. Again, it's all going to allow for another very mild fall day. So yesterday we saw quite the surge in temperatures from that chilly start to highs in the 70s. And again today, we're going back in the 70s again. We are watching a system up here. You can see that low pressure over portions of um, Manitoba and the parts of Saskatchewan. We've got a cold front attached to that. You can see the showers there over parts of Montana. A little bit of upper elevation snow there in the Rockies as well, in the northern Rockies this morning. But that front is going to head our way. We're going to see a good bit of moisture pulling ahead of that. And this will be our first good chance to get rain across the area in about three weeks, really, since we've had any really uh, decent rain to talk about here. So we need the rain and we're going to get at least some rain widespread as we go into the middle of the week. But for today, we're going to keep our forecast dry. We'll have partly cloudy, the, at times mostly sunny skies as we go throughout the first half of the day. Temperatures warm up fast. We still have a very dry air mass, dry air, south wind and sunshine. Well, that means we're going to warm up quickly today. We're already pushing 70 in many spots by noon. As we head throughout the course of the afternoon, we see a bit more in the way of clouds sneak in from the west. But we're going to keep any rain away from us today. We see some showers to the northwest of us as we go throughout the evening. And again, for most of us, we're dry. We're very mild this evening, but temperatures still mid to upper 60s getting past sunset tonight. And we're not going to fall too far. We're only expecting lows in many spots, upper 50s to around 60 degrees as we see mostly cloudy skies. And again, perhaps a spotty shower sneaking its way through, but not expecting much of any rain the next 24 hours. Now tomorrow, we're going to keep things mild. I think we'll see a high again back in the mid 70s. There will be the chance for a few showers, but I think we're going to have a lot of dry time tomorrow with even some sunshine shine peeking through at times. It's not going to be to the late part of the day. The evening hours tomorrow and tomorrow night, that rain chance will go up uh, much higher than it will be for the earlier part of the day. So 4 p.m., still not a lot going on, but watch as we take this clock forward into the evening hours. Showers are going to increase, and as we get closer to the midnight time frame, we start to see the chance for a few thunderstorms. This will be along the actual cold front beginning to slide its way in from the northwest. Now, as that cold front moves through, we have enough wind energy aloft that we could uh, perhaps see a few strong wind gusts as this line moves through. And there is this uh, marginal severe risk uh, with this tomorrow night. So keep that in mind as we head into Thursday here as, as we get towards 5 a.m. We see the cold front moving its way to the east. We start to dry out. Thursday will be much cooler behind the cold front. So looking at our 7-day forecast, numbers at 74 degrees tomorrow. Again, just a few showers during the day. I think the evening and nighttime will have more widespread showers and storms. Overall, a quarter to half inch of rain looks like a good bet. And then we're dry and cool Thursday, Friday, and even cooler as we head into next week. Maybe that'll wash off my car. That's probably a good thing. It's so dusty out there. I know. It really is. Harvesting and everything going on. I right, think it is.